Hello, this is Wes at Bad Seed Games, and we're going to be going over the Get Button action in the Input subsection. Now I've got the scene set up with an empty game object, so let's add in a finite state machine and add the button. Now the first thing you're going to see is the button name. Now this will call upon the inputs that you have defined in Unity's Input Manager right here. So for example, say you're calling Fire1. This is where you can have the definition set up. Now the name is what is the important thing when it comes to accessing it through here. So you're going to want to make sure that it's spelled correctly. Now this, as you can see here, if we click this button it says to use a variable and the variables that it uses are strings. So let's add that in. And there we go. And there it is. And the next one you'll see is a store result. Now this will be a boolean value, which is a true false statement. So if you wanted to record whether or not this button has been pressed and store it for future actions, you can do so here. Like so. Now much like a lot of other actions that you'll see in Playmaker, this has an every frame option. Now the every frame itself, if you have it set, so long as it's on this particular state that this action is in, it will constantly try and get this information. But if you only ever want it to fire once, uncheck that, and the every frame will fire once, and then it'll continue on with this day. Now, you would use this particular situation if you, for example, had more buttons that you wanted to gain access to than are currently defined in Unity itself. And to do that, all you have to do is say, for example, you increase the number of this, the ones that you're looking for. You can change the name. For example, another button. And you can define the various aspects here, such as the description, the negative, what the negative button is, if it has one. So, for example, if there's a cancel button that you wanted to add in there, you could do that there. So I hope that's answered a couple questions that you may have had about this particular action. And as always, if you like this video, feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. I hope you have a good one.